Will iPad OS finally give us everything that we want to be able to turn our iPads into powerful mobile video production studios? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out and welcome back to Budget Video Production. That's where we go out and we try to find the best ways to make our videos better on a budget. And I've downloaded the new iPad OS beta and it was free. That's the best budget number, right? Today we're gonna go through a whole workflow of editing a video from scratch on the iPad. We've got an SD card in my dongle. We've got an iPad. We're gonna plug it all in, get going. So let's plug it in. The app we will be using today is LumaFusion, which is, it's a paid app. It's not one that you get for free, but it's my favorite way to edit uh, when I'm using my iPad. So bring it in here, we've got the Lumix. SD card, we can check out what we've got on here. We'll just find a, okay, here's kind of a silly video that I made that never got actually edited and released. Um, so we will move it to untitled folder copy. So yeah, we're gonna go, this is gonna be a lightly edited video because I'm not gonna make you sit through every single second of what I'm gonna go through. We're gonna do the entire workflow from importing the footage to uploading it to the app, to editing it, to exporting it. And then we're gonna just talk about our impressions on the way. So, so far, I like how easy it is to use the new file system. Um, one of the things that I didn't like about iPads beforehand was you had to import through the photos. Uh, and I just, I don't know, I like having an actual file system instead of having to use like workarounds. One of the other big benefits now is that I don't have one with me right here, but you could also use external hard drives instead of just using a dongle with an SD. So if you have an external hard drive with a USB-C connection, you should be perfectly fine. So instead of needing huge hard drives built into these iPads, you can outsource all of that to external drives. I love it. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you wait for this thing to import, so. Okay, so that's something something off the bat that I don't like is that when it was importing, there was no like status bar, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. So you just sit there and you wait for the spinning wheel to finish. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Not as exciting. Apple, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, please give us a status bar so that I don't have to go crazy. So we will take this out. Let's open up our editing app, LumaFusion. Not sponsored by LumaFusion, it's just my favorite thing to use. And they also have a lot of updates that have happened to LumaFusion. So this is gonna be a new way. Um, this is now LumaFusion 2.0, which I have no ideas about. So we'll do test. No, let's call it budget video production. Budget video production. And it auto-corrected, hooray, done. Okay. Create new project. So let's go over here. We will go to imported, files, photos, all photos and video. Hmm, hmm, okay, I think I know what I need to do. Part of the thing of having a file system is you gotta make sure it's in the right spot, right? So we will move you to LumaFusion, user media, We'll just call it Dropbox. Move. Ha, look at how, that's so much easier. I really like that. Okay, back to LumaFusion. Over here to imported, Dropbox. There it is, right there. So we bring the file down, we bring it back into the timeline. Whoops, too far. We want it to, we want to be able to see ourselves in here. So let's, we can shrink it down, bring it back over. So hey, there's the everyday dad. What is he doing? He's got a fanny pack on. There's the everyday dad, he's got a fanny pack on. So one of the benefits just straight up about using iPads is, look at that, this is 4K footage. Um, look how easy that is to uh, to scrub through. That's in, that's absolutely insane. Like legitimately, my iMac Pro can't handle footage that easy. So we're just gonna lightly edit this thing um, because I normally use the keyboard and I can't use the keyboard uh, and show you this at the same time, unfortunately. So we've got the pen at least. So let's see here. Oh, I'm in my PJ's net, that's embarrassing. So let's go over here, we can expand. Oh, so useful, cut, you, delete, bring you back over. Why yes, this is a fanny pack. Let's check out what's in it. 
I, I like to figure out the, the first, other people do this differently. Why but. yes, this is my video fanny pack. Why yes, this is my video fanny pack, I love that. Okay, so if I'm making a joke, I'm being funny, let's cut. Cut, now how can we do a zoom in to uh, just accentuate the hilarity? Okay, we can come over here to movements. Is that it? No, right here. Presets. Yeah, here we go. Pan left. Zoom in. So you can decide where you want to zoom in. We'll zoom in on my face. Okay. Back. So now we can see it. Well, yes, this is my video fanny pack. I wonder what's inside of it. You probably already read the thumbnail and description. Hooray! Already, you can just see how easy it is. You saw me cut, you saw me scrub through this. Insanely fast, insanely usable. The workflow, very, very easy. So we're gonna do a quick time lapse as I cut my do my quick rough cut on this thing, and uh, we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so rough cut is complete. We just have a quick little rough. The way that I was doing it, you can just drag it to where you want. You can cut, drag to where else you want to cut. Cut. Uh, very simple, very quick. I like how fast this is. Um, we can do voiceover, we can do title, so let's add my text here. Fanny packs are the best. How many exclamation points? I think it needs to be at least, what, one, two, three? So done. Bring it back. When I'm not out making all of these very fancy YouTube videos sitting down here in my studio with all of these- Fanny cool packs things. are the best, of course they are. But can we make that look a little better? See, so we get, oh, different texts. Do we get different like movements? Can I pan that to the right? Bring it back. Video sitting down here in my studio with all of these cool new things. And Fanny packs fancy are stuff. the best. Okay, so that's pretty quick to do the titles. Let's go over to the imported Dropbox. The Everyday Dad is basically the theme song. Oh well, yes, this is my video pack. I wonder what's inside of it. You probably already read the thumbnail and description. Hooray! When I'm not out making all of these very fancy YouTube videos. Sounds good, and something that I like. So this has a lot of tracks that you can lay on top of it. I believe it's now six. You can control the audio, so I like that. You control the audio, you can control the gain of each level, which I very much like. That's just the thing, like people dog on iPads for editing, but it's it's amazing. And using this app like LumaFusion makes it so much easier. iPad OS, I'm a pretty big fan of it so far. I like how it combines with LumaFusion to give you a lot of options. So for example, I don't specifically have a dongle for this yet. I would get a much nicer dongle. This is the dongle that I use on my, iP on my iMac. Uh, but you can plug in mice now. So we could come over here and do all of the same things that we just did with the pencil with, uh, with a mouse. So we could click over here, bring that, cut. Bring it over here, cut. Bring it over here, cut. Bring it back. Cut. Like the mouse support combined with the external hard drive, like that's, I can't, I know I keep speaking in like hyperbole of talking about insane or like crazy, um, but this is incredible. Like to being able to do any of this with a mouse instead of needing to use tap. And tap is another thing that just makes the iPad so much more useful is on my iMac, I can't do like a combined mouse, tap, move. You know, I can't like, okay, I will need to see this. There we go. Bring it back over, maybe do a little fine tuning cut, fine tuning cut, fine tuning cut. Like it's the combination of touchscreen, mouse, all of this together is what makes this insane. So again, this is 4K 24 frames per second footage. We've got about, what, four minutes of it? So let's render it real quick and see how long with a single track of 4K with music, with a little title, the little title doesn't necessarily matter as much. Let's see how fast it renders. So movie, we'll just save it to our rendered movie file. Uh, we'll save it in 4K, 30 frames per second. I think this was 24, but it's rendered movies folder. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Space needed, we still have 109 gigabytes. 
H.264 because I just do not like 265 that much. Everything sounds good, so let's render it. Let's see how long it takes to render. That's fast. Like, if you don't do a lot of 4K video editing or exporting, that's going pretty darn fast. We've definitely hit a crunch where it, it was slowed way down. Okay, back to the, back to the waiting. <laughs> Okay, and we're done. So yeah, it took a little bit longer than I wanted, but we now have a fully rendered video. So let's actually, let's watch it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Files on my iPad, LumaFusion. User media. Rendered movies. Budget video production. Well, yes, this is my video game pack. I wonder what's inside of it. You probably already read the thumbnail description. Hooray. So yeah, it worked. It went pretty fast. I'm impressed. I like the the big takeaways. I mean, I could have done this video easily before iPad OS. So what are the differences of iPad OS and what do, is it worth downloading the beta? I don't know that I would necessarily download the beta. There are still some bugs, there's some crashes. I'm still having some problems like it will recognize Sony footage, but I can't actually get the Sony footage downloaded onto the iPad anymore. So it's it's still like a mixed bag of problems. The big things are the mouse support, the file system, and the external hard drive support. Like those are the three things that really turn this from a tablet that I watch YouTube videos on to like an actual device. Like I've already started creating. I do all of my thumbnails through Procreate here. I do all of my like mobile photography editing through Snapseed, but the mouse support, like it changes like what I can do with this uh, device. So yeah, what do you guys like? What are you excited for when it comes to iPad OS? You can absolutely use this to edit video, like no problem. I'm calling it now, like this could be an easy mobile video production platform because not only can you have the iPad, you could get the iPad with LTE so you have access to the internet everywhere. You can just upload straight from the iPad. Like, I'm sold, 100% I'm sold. What, but are you guys sold? Leave a comment below. I'd love to have a discussion with you guys on what do you think of the future of iPad OS. Thanks for watching.